We all know that fire to survive requires a combustible substance, but love, which is also a fire, what does it feed on to sustain itself? Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. Today's liturgy, 12th week, in ordinary time, Thursday, we come across the Gospel of St. Matthew, where our Lord narrates a very well-known passage of the Gospel, a well-known parable, which is the house which is built on a rock and the house that was built on sand. Rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and buffeted the house. The one which was built on sand collapsed and the one which was built on rock remained. Of course, yesterday we had mentioned that to bear fruit, we had to remain in our Lord Jesus Christ. And remaining in our Lord Jesus Christ meant that we practice His commandments, His ordinances and His decrees, follow His will in everything that we do. But today's liturgy, what lesson does it give us with this very well-known passage of the Gospel? What does it mean to build a house on a rock? And what does it mean to build a house on sand? Of course, we've all heard many commentaries where the one who builds his house on a rock is the one who confides in God, who practices virtue, etc., etc. But let's look at this from a different standpoint. We all know that fire requires oxygen and a combustible substance to maintain itself. And we all know that in symbolic terms, fire can also be compared to love. Now, what sustains love? Saint Maximilian Kolbe tells these words, the fuel of love is called sacrifice. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, what maintains our love alive in flames at all times is sacrifice. Saint Peter Julian Amard goes on even further to say that a love without sacrifice is a self-love which is disguised. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, if we desire to build our house on a rock, we must know that we must live a life filled with sacrifices. A person who is not willing to sacrifice, this person, when rain falls, when the flood comes and the winds blow, and buffet against his house, this person, this soul, does not have the conditions to stand by itself. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, Saint Elizabeth de la Trinité goes on to say that love in movement on action is none other than sacrifice. In today's world, practicing commandments, the decrees and ordinances of our Lord Jesus Christ, is a sacrifice. It is difficult, but it is this sacrifice which shows that we are ones who truly love our Lord Jesus Christ. When our love is sustained by sacrifice, with sufferings, this love remains, withstands any torment, any storm, any tempest, whatever. But a soul which is not willing to sacrifice any small trial, any small temptation, any small dryness in spiritual life is easy to blow this house away. Remember this, dear brothers and sisters, that a love without sacrifice does not exist. Or how we say in Spanish, obras son amores y no buenas razones. Works are true sign of love and not beautiful words. We must be Catholics who not brag only about our faith and say internally, Pray to God that we love Him, but are not those who follow His will. We must be willing to sacrifice ourselves, our human respect, our self-love, our person for the love of God. This is the love which is deeply rooted and which is built on a rock. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Salve Maria.